I'm Catherine of Game Across Planet, and I'm doing a little unboxing of a new thing I've got. It's not a game. Um, Far Cry 3 is out on Friday. I may be picking up a copy if I can get um, an insane edition with the vast bobblehead to match uh, my other bobbleheads, pretty much. And I can have a video of all three bobbleheads next to each other and wiggling away. Um, but yes, yeah, so I did a surface unboxing not that long ago and before that the only other technology based thing that I've done which isn't gamey is I did my HD7 which is over there one second yeah so the the last kind of gadgety thing I think unless I've done something else was my HD7 which is my uh, Windows 7 phone or Windows Phone 7 whatever you want to call it Windows Phone Phone, Windows 7 Phone, Windows Phone 7 Phone um, which I got when they launched I mean it says Windows Phone on the back um, and I've enjoyed having it however the battery life has become very very poor it would last about nine hours and that was about it uh, so I have to turn like everything off like mobile data and stuff like that to even get a day out of it without having to put it on charge um, well I have to put it on charge at night so because these launched quite recently I got my hands on a lovely Nokia Lumia 920 uh, so as you can see here there's various colours of handsets on the box I did buy a red one from Friends For You, uh, they screwed me around a bit um, and I ended up actually getting a faulty phone um, so I've sent that back to them and I have a black one. The grey looks quite nice, sadly the grey is not available over here. Um, you can get yellow from Friends For You, red from Friends For You, white is an EE exclusive and black is the standard version that everywhere can sell, um, although you can only buy them from Friends For You and EE at the moment. Um, so it's a lovely phone, Nokia have been doing a nice job on uh, their phones for Windows since uh, making an agreement with Microsoft. Um, so they're, they're fairly nice phones, um, the box is nice, this is pretty similar to the, the 800 boxes and is it 700 or 710 and the 900. Um, Nokia for Windows Phone 8 launched a 920 and an 820. Um, I did prefer the look of the 820, but I wanted the specs of the 920. Um, so yeah, the box is quite standard, it has about details on it. Um, I got it in the end from EE uh, on orange pay as you go, so it's got about orange stuff on it. Um, and then on the bottom you've got the mobile number and IMI, IMEI, if I can say that. Um, but you don't need to see that because that's my own information. Um, so as you open it, you get the phone first off. Under the phone, I had like orange related things, including another SIM card, which I probably wasn't supposed to be given. Um, so you probably get your own like little network provider things. A little. I'm not sure why there was a, a SIM holder for a micro SIM phone. Uh, the first thing you get under the phone is this little doodad. I will show you that working when I take the phone out. Um, and then under that tray, you then get a little information piece which slots out and then you've got like phone um, instruction books I've got some stuff about welcome to ease network um, so yeah the instruction book pretty much shows you like a few different things in Windows 8 or Windows Phone 8 sorry um, you have to get that and then the, the basic things that you pretty much need for a phone so the charger with the USB cable for it as well as a pair of black headphones um, I will use these, however I'm not using the style of headphones at the moment, um, I'm only using like over ear ones, um, but it's got all sorts of little not focuses, little earbuds for it, so depending on the size that you want it to have, so those are quite cool, um, and if you buy it in red, because of course I knew because I had a red, uh, you get red headphones, so if you buy it in yellow, you get yellow headphones, white, you get white headphones, sadly the plug and USB lead um, don't change in colour, um, so that's kind of the box, which you probably don't care about that much. I don't know, the phone's nicer. That's really just be talking about a box. And as far as, you know, things go, I like boxes for games, boxes for phones. Well, I don't buy a phone for its box. Not that I buy a game for its box, but you can get games with lovely boxes, of course. Um, so, it's a nice design. You can see the, oh, you can see me there. There you go. And there's me again in the middle, and again and again. Um, so, it's sharp edged. As you can see there, so it's got straight bits on the top and bottom, and as you can see here, it's also curved. So you can see that even more, of course, if I show you this this way. So it's got curved edges and flat tops. And that's exactly the same on both sides. You've got the USB here, 
and the headphone port there as well as this little dot here you might wonder what that dot's for and then this little thing here um, I can't show you because my phone's on uh, but what you do literally is you just poke this in and you keep poking it in and then eventually this little this little compartment there as you can see there uh, pops up a little bit and that's where you put your sim card in um, so had I remembered to turn off my phone I would have shown you but I hadn't um, so yeah then we got volume slider power button and camera button um, I found the power button a bit awkward at first but however I do understand their placement of it you hold a phone like this pretty much except of course this way around um, and here is where the power button is so it kind of makes sense um, so yeah it's a lovely phone um, here's my lock screen at the moment because it's a bit more interesting than picking a picture of them. currently I've got the Bing uh, picture of the day I guess um, although I think it's a day behind or at least that's what it seemed to be before um, and it will just update it each day and give me a new desktop so what well, a new wallpaper so one day it was a picture of a lamb kissing a turkey or something like that which was a bit weird I think that was for Thanksgiving and there were two camels kind of doing something um, like they looked like they were growling or something like that I don't know um, but yeah, you can choose what to have on your lock screen so just to show you something different and I can show you another one um, I currently have my most recent Facebook status which uh, is so interesting of course uh, too much choices for the oh, time out too much choice for the source to have my stir fry cooked in uh, that's the interesting kind of post you get off me off Facebook um, so yeah oh actually I was on the mobile network bit uh, for example on the lock screen uh, you can have as well as being you can have Facebook photos so I'm not sure how that would how that looks is that for my Facebook or friends you haven't got a picture yet can you not grab a picture now nah, pick a Facebook photo I guess it's grabbing data because that's what it looks like at the moment if by near the end of this video it's got a picture I'll share that um, but yeah you can choose as well like the notifications you want detailed status of usually I'll have the calendar you can have a variety of different things um, and then of course it shows you notifications for different applications as well uh, so calls, messages, emails, you can also have other stuff so I put Facebook there anything that supports it you can put kind of a notification for um, so yeah this is running, oh actually I suppose I never showed then there's of course the home screen button so if I went onto something it's got the game app um, just like Windows, what well, the previous iteration of Windows phones let's see I've got, I've got £4.84 on my uh, points card. Uh, if I press this, it goes home. You got that to go oh shit, boop. Ah no don't launch that. There you go. It's because I'm trying to look at it on there but not press it here. Uh, that goes back to the previous app or thing that you were on. And then you've got the search thing that takes you to Bing. See that? See I've got a different picture now. Um, and then you can search, you could do scout. Uh, I've got vision. So you can scan barcodes and stuff like that. Um, and that of course came out well, that Bing stuff's been around since the m more recent iteration of Windows Phone 7. Um, so as you can notice, anyone who's got a Windows 7 phone or Windows Phone 7, I, I'm not sure which Windows Phone, anyone who's got the previous iteration of Windows Phones, uh, you only have big tiles. You may notice I've got little tiles as well, so big ones, little ones, big little, big little, loads of little ones at the bottom there. Um, it's really nice. I like being able to have smaller things because I found I find it annoying having to scroll all the way up and down with things. I mean, ignore this large area at the bottom here. They're like making Christmas presents and stuff like that. Um, but really, like, I only have to go down to here, ah, to here to see everything. So it's quite nice. Uh, it's exactly the same. You've got the stuff at the side, which you can either swipe, or you'll notice the button is now at the bottom here. If I can try and press that. In, by looking in the reflection um, and then it alphabetize your applications once you have so many um, it's pretty similar to Windows Phone I think most well, most of the updates are done other than things like the difference in live tiles is um, kind of architecture stuff so making it run differently uh, on the different processors and whatnot that they've got the Windows 8 phones well Windows Phone 8 Windows 8 phones running on um, because they're high spec than the previous phones um, and yeah I mean it's got a lovely 
resolution screen. Um, I wonder if if I go on Wikipedia and look at something. What should I look up? Put in video games. Um, you can easily read everything on the screen. Although I think Wikipedia doesn't really go with a small font. They're not really. Oh, that's a really big font. Um, let's try and find something. Sorry, of course, it's a bit boring, of course, watching me look at a phone. Um, no, that's pretty big as well. He scaled a bit. How about I look at a non mobile version of their website? Desktop version. There we go. Um, so if I look at an article. There you go, let's go on that. Sounds a bit boring. Well, no, I shouldn't say things like that. Look at my face lit up. Um, oh, have you gone back to the mobile version? Buggy Guardian website. Desktop version. There we go. Um, I mean, I suppose that text is not that tiny, but some of that text does get quite small, and once it focuses, you should be able to read everything. You don't need to zoom in as long as you've got good eyesight. I move it a bit closer. There you go. Um, everything's lovely on it. I think I believe I remember Paul saying that um, it's got the same resolution screen as a Surface, but it's smaller, so it looks lovely. Um, yeah, it's got a nice camera. Um, I didn't really show that at the back. It's got Carl Carl Zeiss camera. Uh, so you've got the camera there and the flash, and there's the the front-facing camera there. Um, I haven't really, well, I haven't taken anything worth showing with this camera. Um, I suppose you can see some popcorn. It's a fairly nice picture of some popcorn I made. Honey peanut butter popcorn, that was pretty good. Um, however, of course, my, my video camera doesn't really do the photo that much justice. Um, have I got anything else I can show? The, have I got the barcode picture on here? Um, it's probably not that much fun having me just chat. Uh, saved pictures, yeah. Yeah, I thought that was an all right picture that I took in the morning. And uh, an Agent 47 barcode that I did. This was a, a Sharpie, really. Um, sadly, the lines aren't that great. And the numbers were a bit off. But I thought I did an all right job with that. Um, but yeah, the camera's quite nice on it. Uh, the video camera's good. I think it runs at 1080p. Um got a few different games to what well, it's got a few ex well exclusive games I suppose on it at the moment um, including Angry Birds Space and Angry Birds Star Wars which are all called Angry Birds and you have to tell from the picture um, the game stuff runs the same it's got smart glass on it um, however of course you've got smart glass on Windows phone devices as well I believe or Windows Phone 7, whatever you want to call it. Um, with getting the 920, you do get all the Nokia stuff. So we got uh, Nokia Maps, Nokia Drive, Nokia, what is that called? City something? Nokia City Lens. Um, so if I wanted, I could look at the shopping in the air. Oh. That didn't really work. So look, there we go, we've got places over there. Um, so it's just an AR thing, like, uh, I remember an advert for a phone not that long ago. So there you go, you can see that Argus is uh, not that far away. We've got other places. Other places that I've never heard of. Um, but yeah, and it shows like a little radar on uh, the top corner, as you can see there. Um, but then you can also just look at that if you hold it this way and then it could just tell you how close things are um, but that works quite nicely um, and then as well as that saying I have been using a fair bit actually to be fair um, although it has of course there's what well, there's Xbox music on uh, Windows Phone 8 devices um, but I've been using Nokia music which as you can see here um, which is a streaming service and you can let it see the music you've got on your computer and it can create a mix based off that. Although really what it does, it just gives you um, different stylings of um, music. So it gave me 
in the alternative where was it I go? Is it, I got a mix radio. Mm -mm. So there you go. Uh, it gave me that as my percentages of music. And then you can just listen to stuff based off it. I think it's pretty good actually. Um, although it does seem to drop a bit every now and again. Uh, but if you use a Wi Fi connection, it's alright. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's a fair few updates with Windows Phone 8, and I'm not going to remember anything right now off the top of my head um, however I really wanted to get a phone with a better battery life and this is it uh, because this battery is lasting like a couple of days without needing a charge um, it's also got well I'm not going to show it though a nice thing called Cinemagraph and then there's also Smart Shoot which is good for taking photos of lots of people. Uh, Cinemagraph's quite cute though because it's kind of making animated GIFs out of pictures. Um, and they're just on the Nokia stuff. Um, but yeah, it's really fast. As you can see there, nice and responsive. Um, I remember Paul saying the BBC News apps were really quite good. Uh, so this is nice and fast as well. Scrolling through the BBC News. Um, everything that ran on the previous iterations of Windows phones uh, work on it as well as far as I can tell everything that I had before that I'm using is working fine um, yeah you can of course sign in with your um, live ID account and then it has all your game licenses I suppose you have to re-download them it will say oh you already own this game if you click buy and you already bought it um, however of course it doesn't transfer your save games which is the most annoying thing in the world uh, for if you've spent hours on a game I need to lose all your progress pretty much um, but yeah I like it uh, quite expensive um, if you want to get one from phones for you um, however I don't really um, what's the word? Recommend phones for you. After them lying to me, um, they charge 460 or 470 something like that for a 920. Uh, you can get one for 400 pounds from EE um, or what well, EE, but you have to buy 10 pounds of top up with that as well. If they'll sell you one, pay as you go. Um, otherwise, you can of course get it on contracts. Uh, some contracts will make it cheap enough that you're not spending over a thousand pounds on a phone but a lot of contracts will make you spend about a thousand pounds on this phone over two years um with the price i paid for it and how much i pay a month uh i'm paying 640 pounds for it over two years which isn't too bad um because it, this is locked all nokia's unless you buy it from a a website like Expansis or Clove or some or there's a German place Cyberport as well um, where it is actually unlocked if you buy it from Phones for You or EE it's locked to Orange, T-Mobile, EE and Virgin I got a Virgin SIM because it's very similar to GifGaf which is who I was with before you can get a £10 a month tariff that gives you 250 minutes unlimited texts and a gigabyte of data um, so I'm doing that it makes it cheap um, but I have a phone I can use. The battery's good. Oh, not the battery. Uh, the signal's good for me because GiveGaffer was actually pretty terrible. Um, I'm just going to turn the TV off so it stops me changing face colour. Um, unfortunately, that still hasn't grabbed a picture. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking it. Uh, there's no point in me showing all the kind of intricacies because I already did that on my previous phone video and it pretty much has the same stuff. This is just a very nice phone, much nicer super fast and lovely and I just love having small tiles um, it's just really handy to fit lots of stuff in um, although of course if you do have the smaller tiles they don't uh, have the live tile enabled things uh, so none of these pictures will be changing like this one here um, yeah so that's my video um, I'm probably if it's a bit long I was trying to find stuff to talk about and I've probably forgotten about all the stuff that I want to talk about because this is my second video of this because uh, the first time I didn't talk about much at all um, so yeah, that's the Nokia Lumia 920. Um, I may be doing a Far Cry 3 unboxing. If you keep it on the channel, if I pick up a copy or if I manage to pick up a copy, um, I don't think I'm buying a Wii U. They come out on Friday in the UK. I have a pre-order still, which was for... 
um, from Expansis for £255 for the premium model, which is of course a fair bit cheaper than its retail price. Um, but because they delayed Rayman Legends, I kind of decided I don't think I really want one. If the new Super Mario Bros. U was actually a 3D Mario game, I'd be very tempted to get one. Um, but because it's a 2D, I mean 2D Mario is good, but I don't really think I want it that much. I think it feels a little bit too close to um, new Super Mario Bros. on the Wii. Um, of course it is different because you've got kind of Sugar Glider Mario. Um, but yeah, there's, there are games that I want in it, but they're just not out yet. Well, as in they're not coming out on launch. So I might give it a rest, which will be like the first console I haven't bought on launch for a while. Um, I will be getting a Pikachu, Pikachu? A Pikachu 3DS though. Uh, well, Pikachu 3DS XL, so I'll do a video on that when I get that. And potentially Far Cry. So I will catch you for my next video. I hope you enjoyed my Lumia 920 unboxing. Sorry if it was really long. If you just wanted to see the phone contents, of course, you could have just watched the first couple of minutes um otherwise if you actually wanted to see the phone a bit then thanks for watching i will catch you later bye